<laughs> hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario. I'm going to be making this video because a few people have asked about this question. Now this is assuming that you have used either my tutorial or another tutorial showing how to install either free McBoot and or free hard drive boot. So if you have free McBoot installed, let's say you want to play a burned copy of a game somehow, you can't just pop it in and play. There are a few steps to get it to play. So with this, I'm going to be showing you how you can use free McBoot or free hard drive boot to boot up a copied version or a backup version of a game using the ESR application. So assuming you have all of that done, we're going to need three things right here, or four technically. We're going to need Ultra ISO, Image Burn, ESR Disk Patcher, and the ISOs that we're going to be using. So first off, starting from scratch, this is assuming that you have your own game right here. You're going to need a disk drive, your game, and pop the game into your disk drive on your computer. Once you have that, open up Image Burn. All the links for these will be down below in the description. Once Image Burn is opened up, you want to click Create Image File from Disk. Now, I'm going to be doing two rips of games. I'm going to do a CD-based game, and I'm going to do a DVD-based game, because there are certain ways you have to do this. With a DVD, it's pretty easy, but with a CD-based game, there are a few extra steps to get this to run in ESR. So first off, this is our CD-based game. If you're going to be ripping this, you want to find somewhere to save it by clicking this button. Navigate to the folder, go ahead and type in whatever the game is. So I'm going to put in Rebel Raiders, and press Save. And that's it right there, it's going to be in .bin format, we really don't need to change it. Your read and write speeds can be set to the max, click this right here, and it will start ripping your game over. Now as you can see, this is complete, I'm going to hit OK right here, but what if you have a DVD based game? Well, I'm going to show you the same thing right here. For a DVD based game, again you want to open up Image Burn, go to Create Image File from Disk, and it's going to load this up right here. In our current profile, it says DVD ROM. Click the browse button to pick where you want to save your game. And right here, it's going to save this in an ISO format. That's fine. I'm going to call this Mark of Cree because that's my game. And you can just hit this right here. It will take longer to rip a DVD as opposed to a CD, but just wait a few minutes if you have a DVD based game. So now that it's completed, you can exit out of Image Burn and you should go over to the folder where your games are at. If you have an ISO, again, it is DVD. If you have BinQ, it will be a CD or a similar type format. BinQ files need to be put together. But now we need to patch these to run on ESR. To do that is very simple. Well, if you have a DVD, which I will show you. First off, if you're going to be doing this with ESR, you need to double click right here and you're going to see this folder that has a few things. Uh, you can open up the patcher by right clicking it, say run as administrator, and this is all you need to do. If you have a regular ISO for DVD, just click the patch button right here, navigate over to where your ISOs are, double click the ISO, and then it will say patching process finished successfully, and that's all. If you ever want to unpatch your game, literally all you do is click unpatch, double click the ISO and it's unpatched. That's all you need to do. But for this sake, we're going to patch up the ISO. So Mark of Cree is done. Now, if you have a CD based game, there's going to be a few other options we have to take before we patch it. First of all, open up Ultra ISO. It's going to say that you need to buy it, but we can just use the trial for what we're doing. So I'm going to say continue to try. Go to file, open, look for your ISO, and we're going to grab the Q sheet right here. And this is the CD based game that we've ripped. Now go over to file, properties, and right here for media, you want to click this drop down, and you want to navigate over to 4.7 gigabytes and click that. Now when you come down to CD file system, make sure this first one ISO 9660 is checked, you can't modify that, and check UDF. For the ISO 9660 file name format, it's going to be Windows and Unix 3.1. After that's done, you can hit set as default and it will disappear. So now at this point, the way you can tell is you can go ahead and double check your properties, which again, we have 4.7, UDF, Windows, that's all we need. And right here, it is reading it as a 4.7 gigabyte ISO as opposed to a 650 megabyte ISO. So all you need to do at this point now is you need to go to file, save as, and it's going to be a standard ISO file. So I'm just going to call this one of the same name, Rebel Raiders, and hit save. And that's it, it's been saved. So now you can exit out of Ultra ISO, double check your ISO folders, and as you can see, you should have a actual ISO file for this game right here. Some people might be asking, couldn't I just save the game to ISO when I'm ripping it? No, you can't. You're still going to have to go through this conversion process. Even if you have a CD-based game that you ripped to ISO, you will still have to convert it to a DVD. So once we have all of this set up, we're going to go back over to ESR, select patch, select your game right here, 
open. And as you can see, patching process finished successfully. Now to some people who might still be non-believers, if you hit patch and just click the unmodified build that we made, it's going to say no UDF descriptor right here. That is because it cannot work with CDs. The way this works is it has to be done on a DVD. So either way, we can now exit out of this. We now have our ISOs available. So we have the actual modified ISO that we've created for Rebel Raiders, our CD game. And we have the Mark of Cree, which is our just regular DVD game. Both have been patched with ESR, so they are now ready to go. But we need to burn them off. So now at this point, this is the final step on our computer. You can go ahead, open up image burn. Once this comes up, press write image file to disk and select your image file. Now for the sake of showing you the tutorial right here on our PS2, I'm going to burn off both of these, but you need to use a blank DVD. Yes, even if you have a CD based game, you cannot burn that to a CD. You have to burn it to a DVD. So in that case, I'm going to take our Rebel Raiders ISO right here and I'm going to go ahead, burn it at the lowest speed possible. I set this to 2.4 by default, but it's going to round down to 2x. But even if you want to, you can just select 2x right there just burn at the slowest speed possible that your drive can burn once you've selected your settings just click this button right here and wait a few minutes for it to burn to your dvd so once the disc is done burning off all we need to do is pop it out and try it over on our ps2 so with that we can now move over to the ps2 make sure you have free mcboot set up and the default newbie package which i've used in my install tutorial will have esr already installed on it now as you can see we have our ps2 set up in the upper Upper right hand corner and if you see the main screen we are on the free mcboot menu this is version 1.95 and on the ps2 itself we have our legitimate copy of rebel raiders and the backup copy that we just made and converted and patched so in order to boot this up you'll have to go down to esr press x and open it up as it's opening or at any time really you can press the eject button load in your disc like so and press eject to pop it back into the playstation 2. Now, this menu might look a little bit daunting, but it's pretty easy to navigate. If you look down at the bottom, it says status detecting, and we want to wait for it to tell us that we have a PS2 DVD, which it says right there. Once it has initialized, we can just press X on launch C DVD. Wait a few seconds, the screen is going to flash a few crazy colors. There is the color flash. And in a few seconds, our game will boot up. And that's it. So as you can see, the game is booting just fine under ESR. This is a CD based game that we can see from the blue back right there converted over to a DVD ISO and patched using ESR patcher. Now to anybody who is wondering, do I really have to go through all the steps to patch the game? You actually do, unfortunately, because I will show you what happens if your PS2 is not modified aside from free McBoot or free hard drive boot. Let me go ahead and reset the system right here with the backup game in the drive. And as you can see, we are at the free McBoot screen. Now it is spinning inside the PS2. We're just waiting for the disc to initialize. And that has disappeared. So we should get the game to boot in a few seconds. But as you can see, it says DVD player is not set up. If we press circle to go back, we highlight this, it says DVD video, and if we press X on here, it's going to do the exact same thing. It will try and boot up the game. It will say that DVD playback has not been set up. As you can see right there, it did that same thing. So if you have free McBoot, that is your only option. This is the only way that you can play a burned game. You have to boot it up through ESR and you have to patch the ISO using ESR patcher before you burn it off. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching everyone. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video. If you did, a like would very much be appreciated. And if you absolutely hated it, a dislike is fine as well too.